Worried your cells might die before the end of your project? Immortalized cells have an infinite lifespan and are the perfect solution for complex experiments or long-term projects. In this video, we'll discuss what immortalized cells are, the basics of the immortalization process, and cell line quality control considerations. Scientists often take cells directly from living tissue, called primary cells, for in vitro research. However, in some cases, the telomeres of primary cells shorten after every cell division, eventually causing the cells to stop dividing. In other cases, tumor suppressor genes involved in cell cycle signaling, such as p53 and rb, prevent cell proliferation when DNA is damaged. When performing research, this can be a problem since your cells could reach senescence before the end of your experiment. Ideally, you want your cells to proliferate indefinitely and to avoid batch-to-batch -batch variation, such as differing phenotypes and genotypes. Well, this is exactly where immortalized cells can help. So how do we create them? In short, immortalized cells are primary cells whose telomeres and or tumor suppressor genes have been altered. When targeting the telomeres, insert cDNA into your primary cells coding for the HTERP protein, which induces telomerase activity and regenerates the telomeres, thus preventing replicative senescence. This method is simple and causes little change in the cell's characteristics, but could have low immortalization success rate. When targeting the tumor suppressor genes, inactivate them by inserting viral oncogenes, therefore allowing the cell cycle to continue. This method takes effect quicker, but in some cases may change the cell's characteristics. Now, there are two methods of performing the immortalization itself. The preferred method is through lentiviral transduction, as this will confidently integrate the DNA into the host cell and stably express the gene of interest. The other method is through plasmid transfection, which, although it has a lower success rate, may work for cells that are resistant to lentiviral transductions. So which reagent and method should you use? Well, this depends on your specific cell type. Take primary human cells, for example. Inserting the TERT gene is usually a good reagent to use, since the H-TERT protein naturally occurs in human cells. However, overexpression of HTERT in some cell types, especially in epithelial cells, fails to induce cell immortalization and may induce cell death. Furthermore, HTERT alone does not always suffice. Many cell types require a combination of both methods. For example, recent studies have found that co-expression of the HTERT catalytic subunit with either the p53 or rbsi RNA can immortalize human primary ovarian epithelial cells. To find out what will work best for your project, perform a literature review to know how similar cell lines have been previously immortalized. Before performing your immortalization, Make sure your primary cells are contamination-free. Standard tests consist of mycoplasma and pathogen detection. ABM offers the necessary products and services. Once you confirm your cells are contamination-free, insert your immortalization reagent through a lentiviral transduction or a plasmid transfection. Get in touch with us if you need help with any step of the process or if you would like our team of experts to perform the immortalization for you, while you focus on different aspects of your research. Finally, to verify your cells were immortalized, passage them alongside your primary cells and observe their continuous proliferation over time. ABM considers cell lines that last 20 or more passages as immortal. If applicable, you can also test for GFP fluorescence or antibiotic resistance. Always check the cell morphology microscopically to ensure your cells look healthy and as expected. 
Lastly, perform an STR profile to make sure there was neither cell contamination nor population mixing. This will also check your cell line's ID by verifying the DNA short tandem repeats to a standard. This check is becoming an increasingly common requirement for publishing your research in journals, ensuring your results are accurate and reproducible. At ABM, we offer all the necessary quality control services and products. We also have the world's largest collection of immortalized cells, as well as custom cell line services. Check out our ABM Exchange program to find out how to get a cell line or other lab materials for free. Still have questions or want a specific video topic covered? Leave them in the comments below. Please like and subscribe if you found this video helpful.